The first question I will address has to do with what is the cause of climate change? Is it natural or is it man-made? That turns out to be the most important of all of the questions. Because it's not just science, but it also impacts on policy. All of the regulations that are coming forth from Washington and from Sacramento and from CARB here in California are based on the idea that the cause of climate change is human, not natural, and therefore we must do something about it. Well, yes or no, the cause of climate change is very difficult to establish. So how do you decide which of these possible alternatives is the more important one? Notice I say the more important one. It's, a, it's not a black and white situation. Both of these causes are acting, and it's a matter of deciding which is important. Because that's the only way you can predict what's going to happen in the future. The only way to establish the cause is to compare observations, detailed observations, with the predictions of greenhouse models, climate models, which have been constructed in the last uh, decade or two, and see whether they agree. They disagree. And we've established that the models are wrong. That's been the main impact of our work, to show that the observations are correct and the models are not. This has very important policy consequences. It means that the climate changes that we see, whether it's warming or cooling, are natural, that there's very little we can do about them, and that all of us uh, hue and cry and sturm and drang and all the anxiety, all the alarmism that's coming forth is hokum, bunk doesn't do anything. None of the remedies suggested will work, will affect, have the slightest effect on climate. Restrictions on carbon dioxide emissions make absolutely no sense because carbon dioxide, in fact, is a natural constituent of the atmosphere and is very beneficial for agriculture. That's what plants live on. I'd be glad to talk more about this if there are questions on this. So that first question we, we consider settled. Unfortunately, a lot of people like Al Gore do not agree with us. So we have a problem, and our problem is to explain the situation as clearly as we can to a lot of people, particularly to the press, to the media, and try to convince them to give us a fair shake and to present this point of view to the general public.